Hey guys, in this video we have 15 legit websites that pay you around $50 or more per task that you complete. The first one is User Interviews, which is actually a website where you can do a lot of different focus groups, surveys, and things like that. Some of these pay a few hundred dollars for each one that you complete. So when you go to userinterviews.com, you can just go to Browse Online Studies, and then you can look and see which, which studies they have available. I would recommend looking at over the phone or online just to make sure that you're doing the ones that allow you to do these at home. Otherwise, the in-person ones, of course, will, re will require you to go to a physical location. But they have all sorts of different ones like product preferences, $25 for 10 minutes. You have people asking for your opinion on feminine care, $50 for 45 minutes. You can scroll down and maybe find some higher paying ones. Here's one that has to do with testing a lender's website, $98 for 45 minutes, you know? So you have all sorts of different types of user interviews that you can take part in. These are very similar to focus groups, surveys, and things like that. And some of them pay you over $100 for just an hour of your time. Another thing you can do is write dating profiles. There's actually a website called eSerrano, which pays you from $78 to $120 per dating profile that you write. So you can go to e-serrano.com and then you can get paid to actually write profiles for people. And sometimes they're hiring for this. I don't know if they're hiring right now. Usually they have like a sign up page, but this is something you might check back with every once in a while to see if they're looking for dating profile writers. Again, you can make $78 to $120 per profile that you make. Next, we have a website called User Testing. This is one I've mentioned a few times in the past. They actually pay you for testing websites and apps. And you can also do this on your mobile device as well. So you can go to usertesting.com and what you want to do, like if you, sh if you show up on the homepage here, you just go to get paid to test and then you will end up on this page where you can sign up. Now they used to mention how much you get paid per test, but it actually varies quite a bit. It's now about $4 for every five minute test, $10 per 20 minute test, and between 30 and $120 per live interview test. And you do need to be 18 years of age or older. This is worldwide as well. And you get paid weekly via PayPal. So you can also check out their FAQ section here, but I believe I pretty much covered, you know, most of the basics here for what it's like to test websites. Now, I recommend signing up for more than one of these types of sites. Like there's also Userlytics and others, but this is a site where you might get some work here and there and get paid via PayPal to just give your opinion on websites. Next, we have a website called Respondent. You can go to Respondent and get paid to do focus groups and surveys very similarly to user interviews. So here you just go to respondent.io and then you can sign up here or you can use a direct link that I'll have in the show notes for you. But you have all sorts of different projects here surveys, one-on-one. -on -one. Some of these might require you to be on camera. Some of these might not. It just depends. But you can do most of these at home and they'll pay you like $25 for 16 minutes, $200 for 26 minutes, you know, $40 for 20 minutes. It just depends on what you do here. Some of these are going to have to do with your job, like what you do for a living. And some of these are just for the general population. Like for instance, Seeking users of household products, $200 for 30 minutes. That's obviously something that is something anybody could do, but you also need to make sure you look at the ones that are remote. So like for this one, $50 for 40 minutes remotely, but this one is in person, $500 for 210 minutes. So you might want to just narrow down to the ones that are remote only when you do this. Another company you can check out is WatchLab. WatchLab is very similar to Respondent and User Interviews. It's a place where you can do focus groups and surveys. They actually list their stuff on a Facebook page. So I'm gonna show you where to check for their latest studies before you have to sign up. So to actually sign up, you go to watchlab.com and just go to join our community. But if you wanna see what they have available first, you can go to facebook.com slash watchlabresearch and then you'll notice that they have their listings for the latest paid surveys that they have available. Like this one, you need to be 18 to 24 years old and you earn up to $100. You take the survey by clicking the link here. 
Then you have some others, you know, it looks like they post one every few days, maybe a couple of these per week. This one, you had to be in Denver or Chicago. This one, you need to be in the New York area. So some of these are in person and some of these are at home. You wanna look for the ones that say like nationwide or something along those lines for the ones that are allow you to do it at home. And then when you click on one, it will show you more information about the actual survey. They'll tell you location seeking participants nationwide. Make sure that the sessions available are also still in the future and that you didn't miss the chance to actually take part. Another website you can check out is Online Book Club. Online Book Club is a website where you can get paid around $60 to do book reviews. So if you go to onlinebookclub.org, you can look for a sign up page to get started doing book, book reviews. So if you go to if you go to this page right here, which is the free books for reviews section, currently they usually pay five to sixty dollars per review, and then you can get free books as well. You're given a selection of books to choose from, and then you just basically review them. So you can get free books while also getting paid around five to sixty dollars per review, and then you need to be obviously honest and give quick reviews, not just positive reviews. Another website you can check is called Kirkus. Kirkus is another place where you can get paid to do book reviews as well. Typically they pay $50 for a 350 word book review. So you can go to kirkusreviews.com. This is a place where you can get paid to do book reviews. Again, about $50 per 350 word book review. So what you wanna do is go to kirkusreviews.com slash about slash careers, and this is where you can get paid to work from anywhere on a freelance basis, basically reviewing books in either English or Spanish. So these are gonna be like Kirkus Indie books, and this is kind of the book review magazines section dedicated to self-published authors. So you're gonna be reviewing all sorts of books you've probably never heard of, and these 350 word reviews are due in two weeks after the book is assigned. Another website you can check out is Funds for Writers. If you do a reprint, you can get about $25. Otherwise, a typical submission here is about $75. So basically what you're doing here is you're going to fundsforwriters.com slash submissions. This is where you can actually sign up to get paid to actually submit articles. So you're submitting articles to a website that has to do with writers trying to advance their careers, trying to make a living from their writing efforts. So if you're someone who knows a lot about making money as a guest writer or freelance writer or as a blogger or something like that, this can be a great way to make some extra money. And again, you can get paid up to $75 per submission, or at least that's been uh, reported in the past as what their typical rate is. And articles usually fall between 550 and 650 words here. So just make sure that you submit it in Word, 12 to 14 point font, no attachments, and embed in the email that you send to them. And they do not want stories about like how to write, how to develop plot, and things like that. They do want things like ideas on breaking into a writing market, pointers on winning writing contests. They want stuff that has to do with making money as a writer, not how to actually write. So this is a website for people who already know how to write, but are trying to make money from it. Another website that's kind of similar to this is Writers Weekly. Writers Weekly, you can get paid around $60 to write for them. So when you go to Writers Weekly, you can go to Write For Us, right there at the top right there, and then you'll end up on this page that I'm showing you. And here are the writer's guidelines. So when you follow these, just make sure that you go through this whole page so you know exactly what usually gets published here. They do not publish things like ongoing columns or series by one writer, guest posts, poetry, cartoons, jokes, book reviews, or anything like that. So just make sure you read through this whole thing and they will also pay you via PayPal. So they are a company that you can get paid to do like 600 word articles, usually $60 US on acceptance via PayPal, for rights only, $30 if you do a reprint. And then basically they have first non-exclusive or reprint rights. Next we have a very different type of website that pays you to basically find bugs. So if you are someone who's very good at looking at the code or testing out websites, you can do this at test.io. So test.io is a place where they pay you around $50 for each bug that you find in an app 
or website and they also usually pay you via PayPal. So you just go to become a tester at the top right there to join their freelance community. You can work from anywhere, make some extra money. Again, it's $50 usually per bug that you find and then you get to test the latest apps and things like that. So it's a great way to make some extra money. It's not gonna be something you wanna rely on, but if you need some extra money on the side, you could check it out. Another website to check out is Online Verdict. If you've been interested in focus groups, surveys, and things like that that can pay you really well, Online Verdict can pay you as much as a dollar per minute of your time to basically help attorneys by being a pretend juror or in other words, a mock juror. So you're taking part in these mock trials to give your opinion to be basically like a test jury or part of a test jury. So this helps attorneys basically prepare for the real trial. So basically you can scroll down where it says become a juror in our database and click here. And then this is where you sign up as a juror. So you can get paid again around 20 to 60 dollars per case and usually most cases take about 20 to 60 minutes per case and you do need to be 18 years of age or older and also be a u.s citizen if you have questions just go to the juror section here on the left side and it'll tell you more information so juror payment is also made by check once per month that's how you get paid and you're just going to help out with these uh, pretend mock trials so they'll have the benefits here of what you're going to do. There's no long-term commitment or anything like that. And you can also choose the cases you want to review. But all the FAQs and everything you need are going to be right there under the jurors section at onlineverdict.com. Now, another one I'd like to recommend is Rent-A-Friend. This is something that if you're a very outgoing person and you like going out to do stuff and meeting new people, you can get paid sometimes as much as, you know, anywhere from like 30 to $50 per hour in some cases to basically just be somebody's friend for a set amount of time. You could go to weddings, you could go to sporting events, you could go to business events, things like that, basically where they need somebody to attend with them or they just wanna go out and meet new people. They can actually pay you for doing this. If they maybe don't have a significant other to go with them or they don't have a friend that's available for them for some sort of engagement in public or something like that, you can go to rentafriend.com and do this the thing about rentafriend.com is it's actually under maintenance right now. It doesn't look like they shut the website down or anything. They're just trying to, they basically have a message here that says they're currently in the process of building and enhancing the website to provide you with an even better experience. So they do have an updated like 2023 all rights reserved copyright and all of that, which is a good sign. So that means they're staying on top of things. It looks like they're just under maintenance. So you might check back with this website in a, in a month or two. Another thing you could do is handyman or handywoman services at a company called Handy, which actually is now part of Angie. So if you've ever heard of Angie, you've probably heard of like, I think it's called Angie's List, I think is what it started out as, but now they just call it Angie. But they apparently bought the rights to handy.com. Handy.com is very similar to like TaskRabbit or something like that, where you get paid to do all sorts of handy services and different types of things around the house, whether it's cleaning, whether it's yard work, whether it's assembly, electrical or just about anything else that you would do around the house or in the yard but here you can get paid very well let's say you know you wanted to go through their primary service section you see all sorts of different things that have to do with just whatever it is you might want to do around the house and this is something you can do to help people in your local area but you can have good pay flexible schedule easy payments usually you manage everything through an app that you have on your phone and it's just a great way to make some extra money if you're handy around the house. Like for instance, they say that a freelance lawn care person could earn around $62 per hour on average. And again, if you want another website like this, you can also, you can also check out taskrabbit.com. Another website to check out is Userlytics. This is a great place that's very similar to usertesting.com where you can actually get paid to test websites and apps in your free time. So Userlytics, again, you test websites and apps. They say they pay you up to $90 per test, but that doesn't mean every single test is gonna be $90. You can just go to userlytics.com and just go to get paid to test at the top right here. And then once you do that, you will basically be able to sign up as a tester. So you just sign up, complete a profile, you receive an invitation, complete the test, and then you get paid anywhere from five to $90, depending on the test and you also will receive your payment via PayPal at the end of the week. So they also pay you very fast as well. 
You also, from my research, need to be at least 16 years of age or older, but typically if you're under 18, you're gonna probably need a parent or legal guardian's permission. Last but not least, believe it or not, I found a website that will pay you for testing your poop. Yes, I did say that right. There is a website called the Good Nature Program which studies people's well-being and uses this for research. And they will actually pay you really good money to basically send samples of your stool to them in the mail. So this sounds really gross and sounds really weird, but they actually pay you very well because they know if they didn't pay you well, most people would not want to take part in this. But if you are open-minded and you don't want to have to work much, you can become a stool donor. You see if you're eligible, basically, depending on your demographic, you have to, certain health questions you have to answer. Usually you need to be 18 to 50 years of age or older, have a normal weight, don't smoke, and have no history of gastrointestinal disease or alcohol or drug abuse to donate. If you meet the, that criteria, you can go to step two. You have a phone screen that you will basically select a time and a good nature specialist will further assess your eligibility there. And then after that, you provide stool samples and this will you will collect a few initial stool samples at your local donation center to see if your stool contains the microbes that they seek and then another thing you cannot participate this while you are pregnant but they do encourage you to keep them in mind in the future for after you've had the baby they also tell you that you once you're approved you can donate up to six days a week and get paid for your time there which again can be very high paying they say it's about $75 per sample and up to about $1,500 a month in compensation. They also have frequent donor bonuses as well that can allow you to earn more, but compensation may vary by city and is subject to change. So hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully one of these or maybe multiple websites on this list will pique your interest and you'll be able to make some extra money that you've been looking to make outside of your normal occupation. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home and make money on wine opportunities like these and I'll see you in the next video.